Oh, God. What should we do first, Kenny? Kenny, come on, you gotta focus. Right, right, sorry. Clean water for one thing, and blankets. And we gotta get out of this damn cold, too. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. How do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. And she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. I trust Jane. Yeah. I mean, I would have never made it back without her. Just something to think about. I'll go help Jane. Good. Don't be too long if you can help it. Oh, hey. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Just a lot's happened today. And I don't know if... Well, it's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. You know, you don't seem... okay. Huh? Well, yeah. But who is okay? Let's just focus on this right now. I hope this place is what we're looking for. God knows we could use a break. Check this out. This gate's still locked, which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? Do you think you can pick the lock? I should be able to figure something out. Maybe this will work. The nail file? Versatility is not overrated. You know, uh... It wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. Find anything? No, not even trash. It's broken. You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fill them with cement so they're safe. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think I almost had it. Keep looking. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. 
The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind, though. Jane! There's someone coming toward us! Shit, shit, shit! He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. Should we run for it? Normally, I would. But it's too much of a risk. We can't lead him to the others. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. Maybe I can try talking to him. Good call. Shit. Hide now. Hey. I just want to talk to you. Do you understand me? Yes. I am Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially, маленькая девочка. Uh, little girl. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. <gasps> Back up. Put the bag down. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. No, I have no more guns. I swear to we you. We just need to make sure you're not a threat. You duck. Clementine, hurry. Please, please. I have not heard Quiet. You. I mean it. Anything? No more guns, but... Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please! This medicine is all she has. If that medicine's for your sister, why are you hiding it in the garbage? I, uh, I need to keep it... I need to keep it safe. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No! You are not nice people! You have already left me defenseless, and now you... You take my sister's medicine? You are worried! Hey! We've got people who are suffering, who need this medicine. Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need People that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. Clementine, yes, you must believe We don't believe, believe a fucking word about your sick Please sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you're just some junkie. You know what that word means, oh, huh? Oh, no, I'm, I'm telling the truth. I swear upon my own life. I don't believe any of this. Medicine. Clementine. No, 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 no! You cannot take those from me! I'm sorry, Arvo. We need these. You will wish you hadn't done this. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Just let me go! Jane! What are you doing? Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. Can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Taking some stupid kid's stuff. Like a bandit. I thought you were gonna shoot him. Why? Did you want me to? Go bring those meds to the others and bring everybody back here. I'm gonna get this place opened, then we need to get moved in ASAP.
Clem! Clem, hey! Any luck with that observation deck? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from you in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. God knows we could use a break. Jane and I were trying to open the gift shop, and a stranger showed up. He had a lot of medicine, so we took some. What? You robbed him? Seriously. You stole meds from somebody. Rebecca needs them. I know, but where is this guy now? Jane took his gun and chased him off. Well, I guess Jane's really rubbed off on you. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah, she's trying to get the gift shop opened. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I'm never quite sure if she just done like people, or just plain out done like me. I like her. She's honest, and she knows what she's doing. Yep, that's more than I can say for some. Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just... He seems broken. And broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. But I just think he's had to take more than he can handle. Yeah, he always tries to do the right thing. But he's not the same anymore. I'm glad you see it too. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. I'm not supposed to be in labor yet, Kenny. What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. Clementine. What'd you find? The building around back has an observation deck. Somewhere the baby will be safer? It's coming so much faster than I thought. I told you. You're getting yourself all worked up over nothing. It's high up, so it should be safe from walkers. Sounds good. As soon as Mike and Bonnie are back, we'll go. Hey, Clem. Glad you made it back safe. How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. <laughs> I wish Alvin was here. Alvin was a good man. When no one else would help me, he gave me things to help with my arm. Bandages and a juice box. I should have known that Big Softy couldn't follow through on locking you in the shed. I don't think he wanted to anyway. I know it's a waste of time, but I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. How am I ever going to do this without him? Alvin told me that he thinks the baby's going to be a girl. Oh, yeah? That big dummy never did have a sense for these things. I've got a feeling this one's a boy. You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Ah, oh shit. I got this. We ain't seen Mike or Bonnie in a while, and I'm not saying I don't trust them, but I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on them. Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine. Hey, Sarah. I hope one of these buildings is safer than out here. This looks like where we are right now. Observation deck. I wonder if Mike and Bonnie have found anything at the museum.
Hey, Clem. I thought you went with Jane. She didn't take off, did she? Take off? Why do you think she'd take off? Well, it's just a... a feeling. I know Jane seems like she doesn't care about anyone, but I trust her. She's trying to get the place we found ready for Rebecca. Well, that's good. Just give me like ten more minutes to search around. He doesn't want to go back empty-handed. What? I just want to help. Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I watch this side, you watch the other. Deal. Souvenirs, huh? Looking for a keychain with your name on it? No. Why would I want a keychain? I don't even have any keys. Ah, <sighs> good point. Jane said these don't work anymore. Nah, they're just for show. Be handy, though. Also really loud. Good point. You think maybe they say that stuff about water and blankets just to get people out of the way? Oh, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And you didn't have to come with me. No, I wanted to. Never mind. Hey, look at this. An old coat. Nice. Good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. And someone could use it. Kenny said we need blankets. It's not really a blanket, but... But it should do the trick. Good call. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I blame you if you did. I haven't always used the best judgment. You finally opened your eyes about Carver and what a bad person he was. That's something. Yeah. Clem found a jacket. That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know, uh... We can't put Rebecca in a Confederate coat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Guess it's better than nothing, though. There have sure been some animals through here. Lee would have loved this place. Do you see anything good? Not so far, but let's give the place a good going over. Any luck? No, not so much. Unless you want some broken glass. I tell you, I sure don't like being near a graveyard with the world the way it is now. The way things are now, you're in a graveyard all the time. Yeah, true enough. Empty. Nothing but junk in there, trust me. Over here. Water. Bottled and clean. That's just what we need. It's locked. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. I could try to pry it open some more, but I don't know if that'll help much. No, I mean, maybe... All right, all right. I'll go. Thanks, Clem. 
Just open the door from the other side. Mac will carry those things out. Might be a bit heavy for you. I'm stuck. Okay. Maybe I push from... That happened. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. No problem. I'm so sorry about that, Clementine. We should have been more careful. At least now we got something to bring back. I'll keep checking the other room. Let's get this water. Hey, I got this. That looks pretty heavy. Uh, it's all right. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Carver was crazy, but at least his shelves were always full. We're gonna have to be conservative as hell. What do you mean? Nothing. Nothing. Just... That baby's gonna be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys! Come on, stick close. I just walked on in like it owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. We can eat raccoon? I'd eat the shit out of that raccoon. Not like... I mean, just, just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. I am starving. Fresh meat would go a long way with Rebecca. Yeah. Shoot! Don't let it get away! Where is it? I think it went over there. Over here! <laughs> oh! Oh, shit! Shoot! Dang it! <laughs> Not with the walkers out there. I'm even hungrier than I was before. How'd I get to a place where I'm sad I'm not eating raccoon? Well, I'm sort of glad it got away. It had a family. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. We don't have much time to waste. You're telling me your arms ain't tired? Nope. I could do this all day. <laughs> shit, shit! Oh, God! Breathe like I told you. Okay, 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 okay. Oh God! Oh God! Oh no! Oh. Oh. Clem! Clementine! Shit! Walkers! How'd they get that close without anyone seeing them? That was Luke! Kenny, we've got to do something! You just keep that baby safe. Kenny? We can't stay here! Clementine! Where's the place you and Jane found? I'll show you. Good. Someone help me up. Oh, God. There's so many. We uh, gotta get out of here. I'm not dying like this. Here they come. Mike, the water. On it. Sarah, let's go. He's okay. He's losing it. I mean, that... That isn't... Let's go, please. 
He's doing it to protect yeah. us. Sure, but... Uh. Kenny! About as human as I've felt in a long time. I almost forgot what Clementine. J Jesus, Clem, it's just not. Um, we were just Luke. It, it just happened. It, it, I wasn't. Uh... Uh... Wait, what's going on? In here. Let's get you comfortable. What the fuck are you two doing up here, Kenny? What's going on? We got God knows how many walkers out there, which you were supposed to be keeping an eye out for. Hey, hold on a second. Just tell me what's going on. What's going on is you're a reckless fucking moron. I'm reckless. You know, you got a lot of nerve, Kenny. Oh, God. Oh. Shit, is she, uh... Walkers are right behind us. We have to keep them from getting up here. There's still the stairs. No! Fuck. I'm sorry. Shit. Right over Shit. here. Uh. Oh, God. There oh, God. you go. Just oh. rat it out. We'll oh. be fine. We're doing everything we can. It's too much. I have pills. I think they'll help with the pain. What are they? It looks like Oxy. I want them. Wait, wait, is that okay for a pregnant lady? Give me the fucking pills. Okay. They're coming up the stairs! Here. Uh, we should. You want to help? Get out there and keep the walkers off us. I'll do this. I've been here before. They can't rush us on the stairs! Shoot them before they get to us! Shit, that's a lot of them. We need everyone out here! Stay out of the way, okay? I'm going outside. I'll help hold them back. Go. I've got Rebecca. Here they come. Here. We can't let them up here. Try to 
think about Alvin, what he would say if he was here. Don't. Do that. I can't do this. Um, just make it stop. <laughs> Please. This baby is coming, like it or not. <laughs> but you have to. You can do this. We've gone through too much to give up now. Okay, okay. Uh, I can... I, oh, I can do it. Just don't let go. Good, good. Clem, you need to get out there and help the others. I've got this. Keep shooting! They are not getting up here! We're gonna run out of ammo! Find something to block this gate! Help us! Don't let it open! We can't hold it forever! They're gonna pile up on us! The hinges are giving! We need something to block it! What about this? It's too light. We need something heavy. Take my hand! 
Hey, Clementine. 
Hey, how's he doing? He's perfect. Who's a perfect little man? Who's the most perfect little man in the whole world? You are. That's right. You are. What are we gonna do now? We can't stay here, can we? I've got to rest. It's getting colder. Clementine, I can't think about that right now. We'll think of something. Just not this second. <coughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. I just wish I could get warm. Clem, why don't you give her that coat we found? Sorry, you know, about the color. You really think I care about that? Do you want to hold him? Could I? Of course. Your family. Here. should rest especially you when's the last time you slept Kenny about two years ago I'm fine plus somebody's got to watch you while mama gets your beauty sleep you never forget that smell Listen, I'm sorry. I've got to go. Come on. The longer I stay, the harder it'll be. Yeah, it is what it is. Go. Go where? Just... away, okay? You know, Jamie, Sarah. I'm not gonna stick around and... And what should happen to you two? You know the score. You're a smart kid. But I thought you believed in me. I do. But give it enough time, and everyone's luck runs out. Listen, when the shit hits the fan, because it always does, Remember that you can make it on your own. It's not an option for everyone. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. You don't owe them anything. But make you feel like you do. Like it's all one happy family. And when push comes to shove, you'll see. Can... can I go with you? No, you can't. That's not how this works. You take care of yourself. I mean that. Here. Versatility is not overrated. Thanks. Yeah. I, uh... I gotta go. You'd be asleep by now. You okay? I'm fine. Okay. Good. <laughs> Hell of a night, though. <sighs> Temperature's dropping. We're low on food. I think we gotta stay put for a while. You know, for Rebecca and the baby. So I'm thinking as soon as it gets light, Jane and I should go explore. See if we can find some place to scavenge. What? 
Jane left. For good. What? When? Just now. Are you serious? She didn't say anything about leaving to me? What the fuck? Damn it! Hey, keep it down. Sorry. I... Sorry. Just... Jane's gone. Really? Luke? Of all the childish bullshit... Childish? God damn it, Kenny. You know what? Just... Lay off! No, you put our lives, this baby's life at risk, so you two can roll around like fucking teenagers! Look, I made a mistake, all right? No, it's not all right. What do you want from me? Luke didn't do anything wrong. Not now, Clem. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I fucked up. But you know what, Jane? She made an offer, and Jesus Christ, I needed it, okay? I mean, look around you, okay? Everything is shit! So forgive me for wanting to enjoy one moment of something else! Fine, but this baby, he's what matters now, got it? So get your shit Jenny, together. Where's my baby? Is everything all right? Everything is fine. We're gonna need a good place to raise him, which ain't here. We gotta push on. We head north, get to Wellington. That's our best shot. There's a town across the river. It might be safe there. Or at least it might be a good stop on the way. Kenny! I'm sorry. Clem's got a point. That could be a whole town full of supplies, and not that far from here. A whole lot better than here, anyway. Looks like that's our best bet. We need to get on the road as soon as possible. We leave at first light. Whoa, whoa! What are you talking about? <laughs> Rebecca needs rest. A few days, at the least. We've got that baby formula. And it won't help the rest of us. And what about shelter? We'll freeze out here. Kenny's right. We should leave in the morning. Rebecca is not in any condition to travel. I'll be fine. If there's a chance there's food, we have to risk it. <sighs> okay, fine, if that's what you want. Look, we should all try to get some sleep. It's been a long day. Bex, it's gonna be all right. 